Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, Magnetic Reversal News, Sacred Geography, and Shinrin Yoku, bringing you a Grand Solar Minimum update, Saturday, May 27th, 7.45 p.m. Mountain Time, 2023. Sculpted by floods. We're talking the Missoula floods. The biggest flood in the world with geologic evidence. Coming up just minutes after the show, it will be linked below, so check it out. The big story is Memorial Day forecast. Severe thunderstorms can hamper your Memorial Day plans, especially across the high plains. Keep calm. It's boom time. Severe thunderstorm watch posted for northeast Colorado just moments ago. Large hail and tornado hit New Mexico on Friday, and massive flooding hit Clovis across the city. From large acres of lands and residential areas, Severe weather continues to affect eastern New Mexico. Let's take a look at the forecast. Areas of severe thunderstorms, excessive rainfall in the plains, storms on the southeast coast as well. Isolated to scattered severe thunderstorms are possible across much of the high plains this afternoon and evening. Excessive rainfall from thunderstorms over the northern high plains and southern plains may produce areas of flooding today. A non-tropical low along the coast of southeastern U.S. will produce gusty winds and heavy rains for South Carolina and Virginia and North Carolina as well. Heavy rain, dangerous surf, and rip current conditions through Sunday. Now let's take a look. Here is the storms tomorrow that are going to pop up along the plains. Bring it through. Here's Monday morning. It looks like they're going to start down in South Texas there. The southern area, Mexico and Texas, is going to have some severe weather. And by afternoon, that line of thunderstorms goes all the way up into Canada, North Dakota, South Dakota, Nebraska, Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas. You are all in the crosshairs midday tomorrow. And then that, well, that front just depletes there. Lingering threat for Tuesday in South Texas, the nexus of the Schmexus. And so, heads up, severe weather at Memorial Day through the center of the country, specific, especially Texas. Let's take a look at the snowpack, 1,400% above normal, of normal, 500 and 700% of normal, 3,500% of normal. Take a look at this number, 9,100% of normal, above normal. That's a lot of snow. It still has to come down in these regions. So the melt season is on and river running will be king. Dang, dang. There's still a threat in the center of the country. Uh, the drought monitor picking up drought. But take a look at California. The drought has been erased. That's exactly what we predicted. The good news is that lots of precipitation in the next 7 to 10 days coming to that drought-stricken region. And the whole map may go, well... Extreme drought free and exceptional drought free in just a few weeks. Good news. Seismic update no quakes of note. We have an interesting, some multiple activity up here near Svalbard. As far as the US is concerned, a small rumbler 2.5 in Idaho. No other quakes of note worldwide. We do have some slight uptick now at the Reykjanes Peninsula as well as the ongoing. Seismic activity at the Turnus fracture zone, but a quake above three magnitude did happen on the Reykjanes Peninsula just about eight, ten hours ago. So keeping a close eye on the Reykjanes Peninsula as well as the Turnus fracture zone. Worldwide volcano news update. We've got Popo, Semaru, Shibalush. Popo to 19,000, Shibalush to 14, Semaru to 16,000. We've got Liwotolo to 7,000 feet today and a spectacular eruption from Rincon de la Vieja in Costa Rica with pyroclastic flows and a powerful phreatic eruption. This happens when magma mixes with the groundwater and you get a steam explosion. And that one is quite, well, spectacular. Space weather news update. The sun is peppered with spots. Here's the latest HMI intensity. The only problem is they're not doing anything. Earth facing quiet is king. The sun is in low sea range. Geomagnetic activity is flat in the three-day forecast. And solar indices are lowering. So we are at supposedly sunspot maximum. But this solar max is a dud. Scientists find a way to harvest clean energy from nothing but air. 
Holy macaroni. That's free energy. I wonder how long it takes for this to get suppressed. Now, engineers have demonstrated something marvelous. Almost any material can be used to create a device that continuously harvests energy from humid air. Such material can harvest the electricity generated by microscopic water droplets in humid air, according to a team led by engineer Jiang Meng Lui of the University of Massachusetts Amherst. They have called their discovery the generic air gen effect. That is exciting news. More exciting is the podcast coming up on magnetic reversal news on the largest floods the world has ever seen, the Missoula floods, and the creation of the channeled scab lands. So join us in just a few minutes. And that's a boom to knowledge. Hope you got something out of the video. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Share this with like-minded people. And be safe. We love you. Thank mm -hmm. you.